In Genesis chapter 19, the narrative unfolds with the impending destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, cities known for their rampant wickedness. Two angels arrive in Sodom and encounter Lot, the nephew of Abraham, who shows them hospitality by inviting them into his home. However, the wickedness of the city becomes apparent as the men of Sodom surround Lot's house, demanding to have relations with the angelic visitors. Lot, desperate to protect his guests, offers his own daughters instead. But the angels intervene, blinding the wicked men and urging Lot and his family to flee the city. As dawn breaks, the angels urge Lot to escape quickly and not to look back. They warn him of the impending destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah due to their grievous sinfulness. Lot and his family hastily leave the city, and as they do, God rains down sulfur and fire, completely destroying the wicked cities and their inhabitants. However, against God's command, Lot's wife looks back and is instantly turned into a pillar of salt. Lot and his two daughters find refuge in a small town called Zor. Genesis chapter 19 highlights several significant points. Firstly, it reveals the extent of the depravity and wickedness in Sodom and Gomorrah, leading to their ultimate destruction as a consequence of their sins. Secondly, it underscores the importance of hospitality and righteousness, as Lot's willingness to extend hospitality to the angelic visitors is contrasted with the wickedness of the city's inhabitants. The chapter also serves as a warning about the dangers of being attached to worldly possessions and the consequences of disobedience, as Lot's wife's disobedient act of looking back results in her transformation into a pillar of salt. Genesis chapter 19 provides a stark portrayal of the consequences of wickedness and the righteous judgment of God. It emphasizes the importance of righteousness, faithfulness, and obedience, while also highlighting God's mercy in sparing Lot and his daughters. The chapter sets the stage for the subsequent events in the narrative and serves as a reminder of the consequences of unrepentant sin.